Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be a copying, I'm going to do a copying Jaclyn Hill makeup tutorial and I figured that this next one would be a pretty good one to do because uh, I have most of the products if not like something really similar to what she's using and um, I've always wanted to learn how to do sort of like a natural, I guess it's not really natural, but like a, a brown smoky eye. So let's just get on into it. Okay, so I'm going to start it. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do as always is prime our face. I'm using the same Sisley primer that I have been using forever. So I'm going to use the um, Too Faced Hangover RX because that's what I have. And that's what I use, so I'm just going to use that. She, in this video, uses two different primers. So I'm going to go in afterwards with the Hourglass uh, Mineral Primer um, to see how that kind of like works together. Okay, then she, afterwards she goes in with another primer, so I'm just going to take the Hourglass one on the back of my hand and put that on my face because she said she uses it for her pores, so I figured... This one would be good, I'm just going to assume. Okay, so then she goes in with the Hourglass Vanish Stick. So I'm going to go in with mine, and she puts it kind of like all over her face. So we're just going to do that too. Puts it right down her nose, on her cheeks. So I'm just going to go all over with it. I'm taking a damp beauty sponge and spraying some of the new bottle, spraying some of the Lila B Glow face mist on it. I'm gonna so go I'm using the Mac Fix Plus. And then she takes some Dior. Okay, slow down, girl. She takes some Dior foundation, which I don't have. So I'm going to try the Too Faced um, Born This Way foundation. Mix it. I've done it before. Um, it's pretty nice. So we're just going to try it again. She clearly went for the very full coverage look, which I'm okay with today because I am needing to cover up some dark circles. I had already dampened the sponge like with water because um, that's just out of habit. That's what I do. So I did that as well. Now I'm going to grab my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light. Which is what I have in the shade Fair. She puts it all over. Since I'm already so pale, I'm not going to do too much of this because the face is already paler than my skin. <laughs> so I'm just going to do where I would normally do concealer. Jaclyn Hill does it like literally all over and she even says it's like adding another layer of foundation. So we're just going to do it where the concealer is because I'm already pale enough as it is. <laughs> on my face compared to the rest of my body. I think she sets her face next. Okay, so now I'm going to powder the face. I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless So I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury one. face powder at the moment. It has been for quite some time, actually. She so then goes in with a loose powder. powder. The Lancome Absolute Powder as well. So she goes in with a loose powder. So I'm going to use the Laura Mercier one. Um, and then she uses her, her beauty sponge. So I'm going to use my beauty blender. I'm going to tap that into the skin. I've never used my beauty blender to do, like, set the rest of my face. I've only done it, like, under my eyes or in certain areas. So this is, this is a new territory for us that we're trying out. Okay, so then she takes a light color and goes underneath her eyes with her beauty blender. So I'm going to take my beauty blender. I'm going to use the uh, banana shade from... Makeup Forever, and I'm going to set underneath my eyes. A little bit yellow for what I'm doing, but that's okay. Blend it out. Done. Okay, she, so she goes in with a brow pencil. I'm going to use the uh, Goof Proof uh, Brow Pencil by Benefit. I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. I've been using this Goof Proof Pencil for quite some time now. I actually got it as like a, like a sample. Um, when I ordered from Sephora, and I quite like it. It's a nice size too, like not too big. Morphe. So we're gonna use the and I'm going to go color. in with the shade. Mm, I'm going to go in with the shade Silk Cream, which is the she third color this in one. the palette. It's just a really nice soft transition color. It's a little bit on the warm side, but it's not too warm where it's going to be unflattering on some skin tones. 
And again, we're just gonna apply this nice and soft. We don't want this to be harsh. She applies it all the way up. I'm basically putting this all over the lid. I'm not intentionally. She puts it all over the lid, all the way up to her brow bone. So we're gonna do the same. I'm just using a ColourPop number 10 fluffy brush. It's one of my favorite brushes to do, to use. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the E11 brush. I don't have obviously her new collection. So I'm gonna take this shade right here. So it's the second last row, the one uh, second to, to the end right here. Okay, so I just took a little bit of that shade on uh, this ColourPop E11 brush. I'm gonna follow Should she stamp it on like eyeliner? So I'm just gonna pack it on. Looks like eyeliner. And we are just following the lash line and just stamping it with that brush. Just like that. So it looks like eyeliner, but it's just done with eyeshadow. I've just been so into this recently because it's so easy just to stamp this brush right along the lash line and boom, your liner is done. Okay, so now that we have that laid down right on the lash line, I'm going to take a little bit more of that shadow and I'm going to begin to just slightly bring it up out here on the outer corner. Just kind of like doing this flickering motion that you see me doing right now. And this is just going to begin to slightly blend it out and smoke it out. And then lightly feathering that into... Okay, so she talks about using the same brush and like lightly feathering it up. So... Okay, so I'm going to use that same color again and I'm going to take the MAC 217 brush just lightly and she like blends it up like low into the crease. <laughs> I think the key is to have your shadow on one side of the brush and don't flip it upside down to get it on the upper part of your your crease. Um, I'm just keeping it low with the shadow side down so that it only stays on the lower part. And then she takes a clean fluffy brush. I only have this one so we're just going to blend it out. This is just the Morphe M428. And I'm Honestly, just using this because it's the only clean brush I have, blending it all. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my original palette, and I'm going to grab the shade Central Park right okay, here. Okay, so we're, we're using this one. Really, one last time before we go in with lashes. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Pooter right here in my palette. I'm going to take a pencil brush and line my entire... Okay, so she takes that secondary color and goes back over to darken it up. Okay, so she takes this shade right here. I'm using the MAC 239 brush and she pretty much like goes way underneath. And she just like layers it on. Okay, so I don't have the eyeliner pencil that she's talking about, but I do have the ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade Overboard. It is brown and it has a little bit of a shimmer to it, which is what Jacqueline was using, so... Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with this shade right here on that same ColourPop brush, and she goes underneath and just like really tightly, so she's like really defining. And making that lower lash line dark. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the mascara now. Um, I'm not going to be putting on falsies today because I think it's a little much for just running errands, but we're going to go in with the Hourglass uh, Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I've been loving this mascara recently. Um, it really just like lifts and volumizes my lashes, so we're going to go in with that. Look at those lashes. So I'm going to use upward, ColourPop around, number 7. Nice halo on the inner corner. Then once I have that, I'm going to go in with the shade VIP, which is the first shade in the Armed and Gorgeous palette. And I'm just going to lightly tap that right over top of what I did, specifically only just in the inner corner. Okay, so I'm taking the ColourPop number 7 brush in that first shade in her palette. I'm honestly just like 
packing it onto the inner corner. And then she uses from her other palette, so I'm just gonna go in with the next shade right next to it and then pack that on top since I don't have that other palette. So we're gonna take that same brush having a bad day. And we're gonna pack pack it on the brow bone to really add that shimmer look to it. It's amazing what just a little color on your brow bone will do. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Hoola Bronzer from Benefit and I'm gonna take the, uh, what is this, Sephora uh, 79 Pro Contour Brush and I'm honestly just gonna... I probably could've used a little bit of a thicker brush. Oh my gosh, bronzer just makes the face come to life. Hit it up there right by the hairline. And then she takes her powder again and she goes underneath her contour to lighten it. I'm gonna go on with the same bronzer, but it is a lighter version. So this is the Milk Chocolate Soleil. And I'm gonna take that on a little small fluffy brush and I'm just going to put a little bit of that warmth on the sides of my nose. I'm not really contouring my nose necessarily, just warming it up a little bit so that it doesn't look just like weird and pale sitting in the center of my face. That's how I think about my nose, just this weird pale thing sitting in the center of my face. So I'm just taking the uh, same Hoola bronzer and a uh, Sephora Pro Crease Number 10 brush. It's just a fluffy brush and I'm doing what she's doing with that by like contouring my nose a little bit. And she sets her brows, so I'm going to actually set my brows with the Benefit Gimme Brow. Just going to add a little bit of gel to them to make sure they stay in place. I'm just going to go back in with that seam and like lighten up this area. I'm going to put that on center my nose. I, I'm sorry, center my... So I'm going to go in with the Rocketeur by Benefit. It's kind of like that same color that she has. And I'm just going to or blush up my face. It's really blending it out. It's amazing what a little blush will do. So I'm going to take the Hourglass Euphoric Strobe Light in Ambient and the Morphe M510 brush. And it's just a really fluffy brush. So she kind of just like loosely blends her highlight out so we're just gonna layer it it's subtle i mean that's subtle for me take a dab put it on the nose i have to have a nose highlight cupid's bow i'm also gonna do a touch right here on the forehead so she takes like a really neutral shade for her lip so i'm going to use the shade honeycomb by bite beauty okay so i finish it off with the uh, Bite Beauty Honeycomb. It's similar to the one that she uses in her video, but I figured that this was like a pretty good copy. I mean, I don't have the same products as her or the same brushes, so it's really hard to tell, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see sort of like what it looks like and how I kind of tried to recreate her her makeup look. So let's zoom in and if you like these sort of copying makeup videos then give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below who you want to see me try copy their makeup look and I will see what I can do. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!